There's usually a dog over here. Where is he? Oh, there he is. <laughs> hey, old friend. That's where we're headed. That's where our destination is. Not that canyon specifically, but when we get up in that area, it's off to the left. Beautiful, beautiful mountains. Often those peaks are uh, covered in mist. It's a great day for exploring. This is it, friends. The last inhabited house in the mountains there. After this, there's one ghost house. And then after that, nothing but the mountains. Let's continue on. I'm just taking it easy, laying on this big rock. Listening to the birds and all. Clouds are pretty. Look. Big sky up here. Hey everybody. I'm a little tired. I've been hiking for hours. But I have reached the spot that I was after. Have a look. The road here is uh, petering out to a very small, narrow track. And down there I can hear the river, but I can't see it. I can just see it through here. The steep cliff down to the bottom, that's got to be at least, whoa, that's a sheer drop of at least 50 or 60 feet. And uh, there's the canyon. Somehow I've got to get down to that river base, across that river, and then scramble up there. There's the clouds where I would see the mist in that video about the abandoned garden. Okay, here we go. Time to leave the road and have an adventure. Let's go. Here we are. Water. Beautiful pool. Very, very nice. And the uh, tributary right there, that's the canyon that I was searching for. Let's go uh, see if we can pop some boulders across. Here's a rather ominous thing to see. Have a look at this. Japanese forests are known for creepers, vines that uh, wind their way up the trees. People living up in the sky off of the trees. Structural expense. And this creeper has, it looks like a whole constrictor or a python wrapping around the tree. Squeezing it, so look at that. Yes, just like another greeting as I head up. I see that uh, there's a lot of uh, loose rock down here. There's been lots of slides down here. You have to be careful in places like this. Especially when it's raining, uh, mudslides can be very, very dangerous in Japan. Okay, let's go. Here we have to step careful. Keep our feet dry as well. Under this deadfall. I feel like I'm passing through to the pet cemetery. Look at that wall. Oh, I'm all crouched over. I have to get through this clinging vine here somehow. Look through here, maybe. Mushrooms all above my head. Slippery rocks below. Careful, Softy. Careful, buddy. Yeah, I made it. No problem. This is the time, the part of an adventure where I, I'm extra careful. I'm filming now as I'm walking. I feel very confident here. So in the uh, more precarious places, I turn the camera off and take very careful steps. Always using my three contact rule, or that three contact rule that I learned, I didn't make it up. Always having three appendages firmly attached before proceeding. Look at this wall. It's immense. This is really a huge wall. Look at the size of these boulders. They're enormous. This is much bigger than anything I've seen made by farmers in the mountains before. And the wall appears to have uh, collapsed over here. Okay, the valley widens out a little more. 
I imagine I'm going to encounter a waterfall before long. Wow, gotta move slowly, look out for other artifacts and evidence of past human activity here. Well, look at that. Still another wall. Not as large as the first. This next rock wall has a waterfall on the side over here. I think I'll get around that way. And maybe up and around this way. Let's have a look at the waterfall first. Get the camera here. Uh, up and around. Very pretty. Lovely, I can get up there. But I might be able to get around the other way easier. Pretty lonely up here. Not lonely in the human lack of companionship, but lonely in the sense of aloneness. Yes, aloneness. And over. I like the truck. Nothing special though. Oh, lovely force overhanging those the waterfalls there. Really nice. It's going to be a clamber up there. Let me shut the camera off a little bit. Is it just my, my eyes? Or it looks like there's a cave up there. That really looks like a cave with a waterfall beside it. That's too steep a climb for me to uh, challenge on my own. I just have to uh, admire and wonder from a distance. Check this out. I found something interesting. I'm gonna bring it home, a souvenir for my daughter. I think that this stick looks a whole lot like a wand. A magic wand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Emily likes that kind of stuff. Maybe she'll like it. Well, I've made it to a a rather eerie grove. These uh, trees, I think they may be mulberry trees. Or, how do I really don't know. They're overhanging me like a canopy. Cool down here, very cool. All dry and... The rocks are very loose. Easy to slip here. Dangerous footing. I may not uh, make it much further if it gets steeper. Right here it's okay, but that part I just came to, I didn't use the camera at all. I want to be around to make more videos. Let me go a little further then. Let's see how we go. Starting to dim. Light sky is starting to dim as well. I don't know what time it is. So. Being alone, really alone in the wilderness. Heightens the sentences and other things too. But right now, nobody knows who I am. My wife has a vague idea of who I am. If something happened to me now, there's almost no chance anyone would find me. I have no phone. No way to contact anybody. And a very difficult exit to get out of here. I've been in this situation many times in my life. I don't like it now because I'm father and husband have to be careful. So I'm not going to push it too much further. This floor, there's a fork in the uh, canyon here. Off to the left here, looks a little interesting. And off to the right there, looks very interesting. There's a landslide. Can you see how the landslide has blocked off the uh, gorge there? Just debris scattered everywhere in a dark, 
darkness beyond. You see that darkness over there? Well, I'm gonna go up, first I'm gonna check this canyon out a little bit, and then I'm gonna go up and see what's in that darkness. And then I'll, I'll see how it goes from there. I may be just about done for the day. Okay, I'm just starting to climb the landslide now. There's another landslide over here. Spring down. You can see the spillway up there as well. Close behind. Not too bad looking from here. But it used to be rough. Fallen four times so far. Twice in the middle. I getting that old? <laughs> okay, just a little further I think. Let's see what's up there in that dark area. Friends. I kid you not. There's something snorting up there about the, this landslide. I'm not kidding. I don't know if it'll do it again. Just as I got to this uh, point right here, I heard first this one loud snort, and then a second snort. Now, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. It's the uh, Thoral, that weirdo goat sheep thing, or it could be a bird, but there's something making noise up there. I can just pick out the dark spot there as well. See in there? I'm in the crosshairs now. You can see how this whole side of the hill has slid down here, and then down there as well. This is it's causing this landslide from both sides. There's the dark spot right up there. I'll keep the camera on as we do this last approach. <clears throat> I've stepped carefully. I think this is pretty safe though. No sign of whatever was making that noise. So like, see how loose this is? Look, you step on big boulder, big boulder like this. I've heard that sound before though. Harmless animal. Big though, it's like about as big as a sheep. And they're territorial. They only occupy a very small area of space. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah. It's very dark up there. Let's stop for a photo. Okay, let's go in this uh, dark area here. Not so dark or bad. Unless there's something waiting for me around that rock. <laughs> it's been fun talking about ghosts and monsters and stuff. But in reality, this is just beauty. This is a safe place. The only really dangerous thing here is my own folly. And some big giant wasps. Let's look around the corner here. Another, uh, Fork in the canyon. Right away, just go a little further and peek up. Slippery here, careful, careful footing, Kurt. Whoa! Hup, 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 hup. Hey, a waterfall. I was hoping I'd find one. Okay, we gotta go a little further up to that fall. Let's do it. And our dark forest is opening up into a, a beautiful sunlit bit of, bit of waterfall. Waterfall place. I don't know what they call it. It's a waterfall place. Let's get a little closer. And look at here, a wet garden. Wow, drip, drip, moisture everywhere. So cool and refreshing, dripping out of the hill. Let's see, isn't that beautiful? There's green everywhere, it's dripping on me now. Wet, wet rocks. I love a garden waterfall. The falls are absolutely lovely. Look at that. Very different from some of the falls I see here. 
Send it. It's beautiful. the falls. Really uh, a splendid hike. I really enjoy this kind of stuff and I'm glad that you could come along. I'm going make my way down now, carefully, slowly. But hold on, there's something I want to show you at the bottom. I saw something as I was coming up that caught my eye and I wanted to explore one more. came back down. Let's explore it together with your game. So hold that thought. Hold this for just a moment and I'll see if we make it down and we'll resume. Alright, see you in a minute. I hope.